Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another video. It's the last day of the fishing season. As I've mentioned in previous videos, day off work today, and I've come over to Herefordshire, to the Y and to the Lug. But as you can see behind me, <laughs> I thought I would start off the morning on the Lug. I was watching it come up and up and up last night, and it's pretty high. The Y, however, is fairly fishable. It's it's dropping, it hasn't been up too much and it's dropping. But I didn't fancy having the entire day on the Y. I fancied a bit of a look around at the lug. It's, uh, as I say, it's up, but it's not pushing through too hard, to be honest. It's nowhere near where I thought it would be really banging through, but it's not. However, I thought I'd come out just for a few hours this morning, have a little bit of a rove about down here. In some ways, when rivers are like this, it almost makes the fishing or fish location a little bit easier because you just sort of head for the slacks, really. So that's what I've done, and that's what I'm going to do. I say, we'll have a few hours here, have a bit of a wander about, see what we can find. And I've got with me my, get it out, my Drennan Specialist Twin Tip Joe, 12 foot, pound and a half test curve. I'm going to go on the feeder. I did actually bring my trotting gear, thinking there was a possibility of doing some trotting today, but certainly not on this river, maybe on the Y, who knows. But we'll get off there, perhaps lunchtime. We'll have the morning here and just see how we get on. If it's no good, obviously we can go on to the Y, which we should probably do anyway. And uh, But we'll give it a go for now. Um, I've got some smelly, nice smelly ground bait because of the colour of the river. I've got some cheesy garlic ground bait. Uh, I've got some lobworms with me. I've got some bread. I've got uh, some lunch meat as bait. And I have got some maggots, but I think it's far too coloured for that. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a go, as I say, see how we get on. First swim I've selected is, is a slack below a tree here, if you can see in the sunshine in our faces. But uh, yeah, we'll drop into this slack behind this tree and just uh, see if we can winkle anything out. So I'm going to start off, I think, on a bit of bread. I do love fishing a bit of bread below a, a feeder. Not your classic <laughs> high brown water bait, but uh, can be cracking. Now we're due a sunny day, all day today, unfortunately. I do know that uh, the wire has not been fishing brilliantly lately. Which is why, again, I'm not particularly rushed to get over there. <laughs> but we can have this afternoon and perhaps this evening on the Y. Not particularly deep in there. But yeah, we can uh, we'll split the day up a little bit. It's not quite the conditions I would have liked down here. But as I say, the Y is not is not flooded, so we've got we've got the choice really. It's difficult. I've never been down here before, so I don't know whether it will fish in these conditions or whether it's just going to be a waste of time. I have no idea. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? I think the main char targets in here are going to be chub. Catch a few chub this morning, that'd be nice. It's like a proper winter's day today, despite it being spring. It's a hard frost this morning to scrape the car before I left. The ground's still frozen when I got here. Make things tricky. I was uh, in two minds really whether to fish here. When I saw it, it sort of uh, made me feel a little bit better about fishing here. It is, does look 
reasonable. It's burst in its banks, as you can see, but the river itself doesn't look too bad. I've done the temperature as well, it's just over nine. So it's not a bad temperature. I don't know whether it's had a flush of cold water or not. But certainly 9.4, 9.3 is not too bad at all. I think we'll give each spot a few minutes, perhaps 20 minutes or so, <coughs> before we move on. Not too much debris coming down as well, which is good. That was my other worry. Perhaps there was going to be stacks and stacks of debris coming down. Certainly not too much flow in there for chub. I suppose there's an outside chance of barber. I don't know a lot about the, the barbel in the lug. I'd imagine they've been hit by predation like lots of rivers this sort of size. Well, nothing doing in there. <coughs> I'm not going to hang about for not getting any bites. Well, uh, we'll get a move on. Cover as much water as we can. And a nice looking bit of slack here between two trees, as you can see. <laughs> Sun is gonna be pain today. Hopefully it won't bother the fish too much. It's part of the reason I came here as well, really, knowing it was up. Was, uh, oh, what's going on? There we are. Was that I thought perhaps the colour would help. As you can see, I've gone on worm. We'll just drop that. Blow me out, Steve. <laughs> we'll drop that down there. Cross our fingers. Yeah, a bit of depth in there. It's not particularly static. But there's some depth down there, blimey. As I say, the flow is not too bad, to be honest. You know, if you were sort of barbel fishing and even chub fishing on the Y, you would think nothing of casting into the current that's out there at the moment. <clears throat> well, we had a little bit of a knock then. A lobworm on at the moment. That's promising. Need to keep uh, recasting now, we definitely need to keep the, the feed going in. I said that, let's, let's do some right back in the feeder. But, uh, what I find is I like to mix it up a little bit stodgy, a little bit wet. You find it stays in the feeder a bit better that way. For a bit longer. Really cram it in. 
get that down a bit as well. As I say, it is very tricky just not knowing what this river's like normally. You know, this this swims. But we'll <laughs> we keep picking out swims like this, so I don't think we'll go too far wrong. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow. Oh, stuff I'm getting in there. <laughs> I don't think it's particularly big, but blimey, that'd be cracking scrap. It's wonderful. <laughs> Look good for a bite, this swim, with that depth in there. That's a chub, of course. Oh, I can't even see him. The reflection. No, not, not, not a bad fish. Oh, that's a nice one. Wow. Wonderful. Oh, that's a cracker. Wow. That's absolutely fab. Wonderful. I'll give him a minute to get have a little rest. And we'll have a look at him. There we are. That's about that. Wonderful stuff. Decent sized fish. Probably uh, that's three and a half, four pound. Fantastic. Right. Very long fish. What we'll do is we'll keep them in the edge here. That's why I bought this huge landing net. We can keep them in the edge. Perhaps we'll catch another one out of here. Well, that's great. First ever fish from the lug. The last day of the season. <laughs> Just haven't found the time to get over here unfortunately or if I'm honest the inclination because well I did want to fish this river and, and do want to fish it you know I've been really really enjoying the rivers at home they've been in cracking condition and I, you know it's it's one of those as well it's it always feels like it's a long way away, but it's, it's really not. You know, it's taken me just an hour to get here. And that was in the, the sort of... Uh, what am I trying to say? The work traffic. You know, I had to come through Worcester, or ran, ran the Worcester Ring Road, and that's notoriously busy at the moment with all the roadworks that they're doing but yeah it's uh, it's an hour here I have to tra if I travel to stretches the other side of Stratford it takes me 20 minutes <laughs> it's going to be a case of finding the swims today I think seeking out the the likely swims Although it's not that fast out there, it's it's pushing through enough to not want to fish in the in the main flow. Well, I think I'm gonna make a move. Plenty of swims to try. There's nothing else going on there. So I think we'll uh, we'll get this fella back and we'll move on. Go on, chap, back it go. <laughs> oh, blimey. He's keen to get back. There he goes. <laughs> Fab. Right. Let's move on. We can see over there how high this river is. It's actually in the field on the other side. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is up. And it's, it's just checked on the gauge. It's coming up a tiny bit. It's tough, like a millimetre on the previous reading so not much it was steady when i left home this morning so it's not really rising i'm just going to fish down to a, a little tree i mean literally fishing off the rod top there's some depth down there i 
well, as I say, I'm sure the fish are not going to want to be in that flow over there. They want to be in a tucked away, especially in the sun as well. Although part of the reason I fancied having a go at this was because it was uh, going to be coloured. It's lovely and warm sat in this sun though, despite the fact that it's only just burnt the frost off. <laughs> What's he doing in there? Well, uh, we'll get on, I think. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right. Yeah, time for another swim. Not really worth hanging about when you're doing this sort of fishing. 15, 20 minutes even in this coloured water is enough for a fish to find the bait if... Uh, if there's one around, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll move on. I've got my standard running ledger rig on, which uh, you'll know about if you watch the channel. If you've not seen it before, I'll stick a link up there. You can go and see how I tie this up. It's fantastic, well, in my opinion, <laughs> for this sort of fishing because uh, it's very very adjustable. You can change the effective length of the hook link really really quickly and easily, like I just did then. And uh, as I say, there's a link up there to a video where you can go and have a look how I tie this up. This is much easier to show you at home than it is on the bank. Yeah, this is going to be a real hit and hold <laughs> if we do hook anything in here. A lovely bit of slack in there, a bit of depth as well. There may well be something lurking down there. Sticking with worms at the moment because worms can be cracking in uh, in these sort of conditions. So I'm sitting, I'm sitting down on the ground here. Aren't they? There's worms crawling out of the ground where it's saturated, and obviously they need to come out and get some air. I think they crawl out as the river comes up and end up in the river. Obviously, in these conditions, fish are used to finding them. No, nothing doing that. Nothing doing. We'll uh, we'll call it a day at that. I think. Been tough going, but uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. I have to say, it's nice to have a look at this river as well for the first time, and uh, we even caught a fish. <laughs> Fantastic. Now that's it for part one of the last day of the fishing season video. The next part you see will be uh, down the Y, down on the Y, which is where I'm about to go now. That'll be uh, posted in a few days' time. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. It's fairly short and sweet. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling if you get out on the bank. Obviously, we can still fish lakes and uh, canals. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support. And I'll see you all again very soon.